Welcome back to more Super Mario Run. In this episode, I am going to be doing every level in World 2 and collecting all of the pink coins along the way, beginning with the first level here, Ghost Door Deception. So this looks like a haunted boo house. That's fun. And it looks like if you run over the outlines of the coins, it actually makes them available for collection. And I want to get all of these. Because that's the way I roll, man. I love coins. The purpose of a Mario game is not to save the princess. It's to collect the coins. At least in my opinion. Kind of come up here. And over here. And try this left door. Alright, that one worked. New area here. There's one more coin that I missed there. Hold on, so let me come here and do this. Yeah, of course it had to be the pink coin, which I missed. So let me try to go back and grab it. Jump right there, perfect. And then I'll go up this way. Alright, so I got three, and then let me try this door. Perfect, took me to the third area here. Alright, so there is a pink one right there, and right here. Oh man, stupid boo, dude. You guy's crazy. Oh, I gotta be a big Mario in order to grab that. That's alright, I got the coin. Let me figure out how to get out of here. Maybe that middle door. Let me try it. That worked out for me. Perfect, I got all the pink coins, got everything I need. And I got the 10 on the flagpole, that's always satisfying. That was a fun level. What I like so far about this game is that every level is very unique. There's different twists to all of them to keep the variety up to date here. Nice, almost 200 coins there. Got some Toad Rally tickets. And I'm ready to move on to the next level. So let's try this out. Alright, so let's see what I can do with this level. Got some platforms here, should be interesting. So launching me up. And I see the first pink coin here. Got it. And I missed all those blocks. I bet there was a mushroom in one of those. That's alright though. I'll pull through. I believe in myself. Okay. I feel like I'm doing alright. Could be doing better. Missing some blocks. As long as I'm not missing the pink coins though. That's all I care about. And what is this? Okay, looks like some extra time for me. Let's see if I can get a mushroom out of this. Alright. And let's time all of this stuff here. And there is a pink coin to be gotten at the bottom. So this is the fourth one. I need one more. Oh, come on. I timed that wrong. I couldn't grab all the blue ones. It's alright. Again, I'm more interested in the pink than I am in the blue. Okay, that was not good. That's alright, though. Let's see what I can do with this. I just can't get hit since I don't have my mushroom anymore. Ah, oh, that was silly. I couldn't get the top of the flagpole because I picked the wrong platform, but that's okay. I still made it to the end of the level. Still alive. Still got over 100 coins. And five of those are the pink ones. So I can't ask for more. More Toad Rally tickets. And let's move on to the third level. This is Treasure Hoarding Swoops. And let's see what's going on in this level. It's another underground one. Very colorful. Got 
got our little pea switch here. All the blue coins. Oh man, that was satisfying. That was really satisfying. Let's see if I can grab some red coins too. Nice. Alright, let's go before my star runs out. Oh, I missed the thing up there. Hopefully there was not a coin. A pink one. I don't know. I might have missed one. I hope not. I only need one more. I don't know if I'm going to be able to grab that pink one. Let me see. Perfect. Alright. Saved it. It looks like they wanted you to time the jumps off the swoops, but I managed to kind of backtrack and grab it, so that works. Whatever way, man. Whatever you gotta do to grab those coins, as long as you grab them. That was a very fun level, I enjoyed that. Some tricky jumps, but very satisfying. And how many of these swoops did I kill? Let's see, got 10 of them. That's good enough. I don't know if I mentioned, but the reason why you kind of level up the enemies by killing them is because if you level them up, they become worth more coins in Toad Rally. So that's kind of fun. So the last level of this world is Airship Cannon's Fire. Let's go ahead and get started. So these airship levels always used to give me a hard time in Super Mario games. But hopefully I can do well in this one. So far so good. Alright, got two coins. And three. This is going by pretty fast, only need two more. Alright, one more. Where is it gonna be? I don't wanna miss it. Nice, got it. Now I just gotta make it to the end and not die. I think I can manage that. Oh, we might have a boss battle here. Indeed we do, look at this guy, he looks pissed. Probably cause he's bald. Look how bald he is. Can't tell if he's more bald than he is angry. So I think I just gotta bump him on the bald head. Oh my god, I'm doing so bad. Alright, hold on, let me change the strategy here. There we go. I was kind of like stuck behind him. Alright, that works. That works, I got him. Had a little bit of trouble. But managed to clear it in the end. Pretty fun level. I really like the airship levels. Like I said, they always gave me a hard time, but they're always very fun. Cannonballs flying everywhere. Pretty cool. And got eight of each enemies here. Sweet. Ten Toad Rally tickets. I guess for clearing the world, I got two Thwomp Hammers. New level. More stuff unlocked for Toad Rally. Nice. Alright, so let's go back and let's do a Toad Rally race. And let's see, I'm at 47. So let's try out Zara over here with 44. She's the closest to me. Or he is. And yeah, let me see how I can do. Looks like this is the airship level that I just did, so I should be in good practice. Hopefully I don't humiliate myself. Oh man, I got hit. I need to be careful. Grabbing some coins. Grab a mushroom, come on. Got coins just flying everywhere. Be careful not to die here. Oh, that was terrible. I backflipped into an enemy. That was silly. It looks like things are kind of repeating themselves here. I want to make sure I am grabbing some I would really like a mushroom. Because I don't want to die. 
star works too. I don't mind a star. Stars are good. Stars are always good. Grab all these coins here. Man, just blasting through this. Had a bad start, but I feel like I've recovered reasonably well. And right as I say that, I take a death, and I just blow up miserably. Dang, that's okay. I still think I did pretty well. Certainly better than the opponent. So I should be winning this easily. Look at that, he's lagged behind in the beginning. He's not really doing much. And it looks like this time I got a wide variety of colors for the toads. I'm still not entirely sure what significance the colors are. I think maybe you need a certain number of different colors to unlock the different types of buildings. But I'll get more into the kingdom building after we beat the main game. And that way I can work towards some of the crazier rewards. Alright, so let's do a little bit of kingdom building. I got two thwomp hammers, so let me clear out this last one. Perfect. And then let me see if anything else is unlocked for me. Just some decorations. Again, I'm not going to worry about decorations for now. Once I've unlocked everything and I have all the possible decorations, I can make a better layout, so I'll deal with those then. Doesn't look like I can place any other buildings or special things. So, no kingdom building in this episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. I'm still having a ton of fun with the game, and if you're enjoying watching it, leave a like on the video. It helps small channels like mine to grow, and I'll see you next time.